Hi friends and welcome to another interesting video of Logo Animation. We have all seen the Netflix opener or should I say the Netflix animation that usually we see before any starting of any film or series. So today I will tell you how to make the Netflix opening animation in After Effects. This is Dhruv and welcome to my YouTube channel. So let's quickly start this video. So first of all I will take a composition of uh, say 2000 pixels by 400 pixels and I'll rename it as so uh, this is our composition now and I'll take a new solid layer that would be red in color and I'll apply a linear wipe animation on it so this is linear wipe and I'll apply this animation let's say starting of it would be around less than one second and I'll end the animation around 5 seconds and this I'll apply after this I'll apply some feather onto it that would be somewhere around 1000 pixels so we have this kind of feathered animation with us and I will apply an effect as block dissolve onto it I have applied this onto my first layer so in this I'll keep the transition completion as about 75% and block height would be around 5 so this is some kind of lines that we have got in the animation I'll just make a copy of this and I will use uh, an effect as fill onto it I'll apply fill and I will change the color onto orange and this the percentage I'll reduce increase up to 90% and height I'll make as 3 so we have this kind of lines with us with the animation as linear wipe what I'll do is I'll make another copy of this and I will delete this block dissolve effect from it and the color I'll choose as red so this is the top layer which has the red solid color onto it I have deleted the block dissolve effect from it and this is the animation that I've got and now I will take a new composition and I will take it in an HD format this is my new composition and here I'll bring, bring my bar composition onto it so this is it I'll reduce the scaling for about 30% and I'll change the orientation onto 90 degrees rotate it on 90 degrees and I'll make another two copies of it now I'll arrange it this way and I'll select all the three and place it in the center of the screen so we have this kind of animation with us now what I'll do is this is my first animation I will change its rotation to minus 90 degrees I'll reverse it so now I have this kind of animation and uh, this is the second bar and this is the third bar so on to the second bar I'll apply an effect as corner pin and I will match this corners with the first bar corners the below two corners I'll adjust it like this perfect so now you can see that I have got this is the Netflix N and uh, for the animation part what I'll do is I'll adjust this composition so as to match with the logo animation and for this matter I will rotate it this one as also as minus 90 degrees 
perfect so we have this logo animation with us this is the starting animation of netflix as the formation of n now i will try to uh, you know to make this logo more in a realistic form i will apply this effect as exposure that's color correction exposure onto the first and the third bar and i will reduce the exposure level as minus say 1. Point, minus 1.6 and i'll just copy this effect onto the third bar now the second bar what i'll do is i'll just place this over these two bars i'll move this layer upwards and i'll apply as the effect as drop shadow to give it a 3d look and i'll duplicate it and i'll just change the direction on the opposite side so in this way we have almost completed the starting animation of netflix this is the completion of the end logo and now i'll i'll reverse the animation i'll adjust my composition so as to make the reverse animation so that way i'll do with the help of in a time remapping so this is the second bar this is the third bar so i'll do time remap onto it and after completion for let's say after two seconds what i'll do is i'll insert a keyframe and I'll reduce the time of it so as to give it a reverse effect same goes for the second bar and same way we'll do this for the first bar now we have completed the reverse animation also so this is the end formation and after the stay of a second or so we have a reverse animation. I'll increase the time remap, the keyframes as I'm finding it too fast. Done. So we have completed the animation of N like this. Now comes a bit tricky part. Now we'll try to make those lines that come through the animation. Acha, before uh, this, what I'll do is try to make uh, this N in a curvature form as we usually see. So for that matter, we'll take a solid layer as maybe any color as white color. And I'll apply this ellipsical mask on it. And I'll shift the mask downwards and I'll just place it at the bottom line of N. I'll apply the blending mask as Silhouette Alpha. So now you can see that there is a curvature over the at the bottom of the N. We can adjust it again if you want a more curvature. So we can adjust the mask according to it. Perfect. Now you can see the bottom of the N is in a form of a curvature. So this is the like original logo of Netflix. So now for the bars that we usually see, uh, what we'll do is I'll do make another composition of uh, let's say 1500 by 1500 in a squarish form. And I'll rename it as color bar. And I'll take a solid layer of the same size. And what we'll do is we'll apply a four color gradient onto it. and we'll change the colors as yellow red blue and again red so this is the color that we've got and uh, now i'll apply as effect of uh, cc star glow cc starburst sorry we'll apply this effect as cc starburst i'll increase the scatter these are form of some particles and I'll just adjust the scatter as 300 as 30 
and also this now I'll reduce the size or uh, as 33 or maybe 35 Done. now you can see that these are the starburst effect so we have the starburst effect with us and uh, now I'll add as fast box blur I'll apply this fast box blur on this and I'll increase the radius as 2500 and uh, iterations would be 3 and blur dimensions would be vertical so now we cannot see anything but I just need to add one simple effect onto it and we'll be able to see those lines and that is curves so I'll just apply this color correction curves onto it and I will up adjust the alpha channel we have rgb channel and we have an alpha channel onto it we'll just adjust it and alpha channel and i'll adjust the channel as this so now we have these bars with us i have just moved the alpha channel line towards the top and you can see we have these bars with us this is just the star glow animation that is happening here and we have adjusted it uh, with the curves and also a fast box blur in which the blur dimension was vertical so now we have got the vertical line with us and the animation is due to this effect of a starburst so now we have those lines with us that we usually get on the, the netflix animation though of course we'll adjust the effect on, on onto a refiner level so as far as these lines are concerned we'll adjust the size of these lines from this starburst size if we want thick lines we can increase the size from here it's like whenever you feel comfortable that you've got the right effect you can fix onto it and now uh, i just reduce the size for about 60 and now i'll use effect as venetian blind it is a transition of a venetian blind i'll use this transition of venetian blind and uh, this is for the starting and the ending of these animation of the lines animation so i'll adjust the transition i'll width and the feather and at starting i'll reduce the width and between the end i'll increase the size of the width and after also the feather and after that i'll end the transition so this is it so we have this kind of an effect with us before the ending i'll just place a keyframe here and this would be at zero percent so now we have this ending animation with us so we'll adjust it according to the duration that we want this effect is to, uh, used to control the starting and the ending of this animation because uh, it's an ongoing animation of the cc starburst so this will this is an ongoing animation so what we are doing is we are using vanishing blinds transition to make it start and to end this animation so now uh, as the animation we are seeing as it's starting in the middle of the animation what we'll do is we'll increase the a bit the size of these lines so that i can animate the, the size of the cc starburst i can do it as 70 or maybe more than that and afterwards again i'll reduce it to 30. so now we see that there is a variation in the lines as in the middle of the animation they are getting thicker and and at the end they are vanishing so like this we have these lines with us and i'll uh, this is uh, my main composition so first of all now there's one little step in this we'll have to add a camera onto it so for the main animation so this is the starting animation of the end and the reverse animation of the end that we have made we'll add another camera onto it this is my camera i'll just make these layers as 3d layers so as they can get the effects of the camera and after this i'll adjust the camera i'll just place a keyframe onto this and from this side when and from this point where the animation is ending we'll adjust and move the camera onto the z-axis 
so as to camera will move across the lines. Because the animation is not synced right now. So as to sync the animation, I have just moved these keyframes. And now you can see that yes, the we have got something in our hands now. So this is it. So now what we'll add is we will add our color bar onto this main composition. I will make this as well as the 3D layer. I'll adjust it. I'll align this with the first bar that we've got. I have played this color color bar, uh, you know, below this white solid, which is making the curvature of the end. So now uh, we can say that we have got 90% of this effect of the Netflix opener. I have adjusted it with the camera layer. Uh, now what I'll do is I'll just play, uh, change the blending mode as to add. So add it blends with the first the first bar that we've got in the animation. And as the camera moves, we'll just place place it here only. We'll just place it here at the starting of the animation of the camera keyframe and now it moves so we have this animation with us so let's just check it out so for this matter we have made this uh, animation and uh, what i can do is i can just animate the opacity of this uh, animation bar from 0 to 100 so at it so that it gives us a smoother effect you know and just to give it a refine a refinement a bit of refinement what we'll do is uh, as you can see these bars are still visible while the camera has pulled out we can adjust this from this opacity as well i'll just um, mark a keyframe here and i'll make it as zero and now we can see we have got the desired effect as you can see the camera is like the camera is pulling off after that those lines are not visible as it as they were before and uh, so now the and just the last thing we will do is we will add a glow onto our lines as you can see before these lines are a bit hard in the saturation level so what we will do is we will add this glow to our color bar composition and we will reduce the intensity of the glow and we'll increase the radius of the glow so like this uh, 0.8 and this foot should be around 75 now you can see these lines have a different saturation level now as they have a glow around them so this completes our animation let's check it out This is our, uh, we have almost, uh, yes, we have completed this uh, Netflix animation, you can say. It's a five seconder animation. So like this, uh, we have completed the Netflix opener animation. I hope you have liked it. If you have any doubts regarding this, you can post me in the comments box. And uh, do subscribe my channel and please uh, give a thumbs up on the video. Thanks a lot.